my phone, yeah Three o'clock in the morning We've been going and going Back and forth cause we don't know better And I thought we'd be different Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Ong and in today's video I will be doing a video using the newest Jekyll Hill and Morphe brushes for the first time. So in this video I'm just going to try them for the first time, um, see if I like them, if I prefer some of the brushes more than the brushes that were like my favorite brushes. So I'm just going to play with them. Also I used the newest palette from Natasha Denona which is the Camel palette which I have on my eyes right now. In today's video, I also have a new giveaway and one of you guys can win this palette from the Jekyll Hill and Morphe Fold Collection. And it's this gorgeous Bling Boss palette. It's brand new, I haven't touched it. So if you wanna join the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, uh, follow me on Instagram and also comment down below underneath this video that you're joining the giveaway. This way I can select a winner. The winner will be announced in my next upcoming video in the description bar. So if you want to know if you have one, make sure to check out my next video. Also in the future, I will be doing more giveaways with the Vault Collection palettes. So make sure to keep an eye out on my YouTube channel. I will put all the information like on how you can join right down in the description bar. Um, it will be international so everyone can join. And yeah, that's about it, I guess. So let's start the video. I hope you guys will enjoy. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm using a tiny Kabuki brush from Sigma because the collection from Jekyll Hill doesn't really contain something that looks like this so I just use the Sigma P84. Now I'm taking this brush which is the G809 and I'm going to dip this brush into a like matte highlighting color which I used the Kat Von D palette and I mixed the, um, well I didn't mix, I only used that light pinkish shade and I pressed it all over the eyelid. This is a very soft brush, which I normally would use for highlighter, but I also like to use it for that. So now I'm taking the Camel palette from Natasha Denona, which is so beautiful. I had it like in the mail two weeks ago and I couldn't wait with filming um, a look with this palette. So I'm taking the G830 brush, which is like a big fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to blend this shade all over in my crease. And I'm not going to do anything specific, just blending it all the way in my crease, going from the inner corner to the outer corner, and also blending it around the outer V. So I wanna straight off start by telling you guys that this is a brush which I will definitely use again, because um, it's a fluffy brush, but at the same time, it's kind of stiff. I, don't, I feel like stiff kind of sounds negative, but I don't know like the correct English word world word <laughs> but you can precisely blend with this brush for some reason so i found it really easy to now like what i'm doing right now blend it along the outer v area so that's wherefore i really like this brush so yeah so far i'm impressed i'm really liking this one now i'm taking the shade not the shade what is wrong with me now i'm taking the brush ga36 and i'm taking this blending brush and i'm taking a different brush which looks very similar to the the color I just used but I feel like this color is slightly darker and slightly warmer so I'm going to blend it in my crease as well I could have just stayed with that brush I just used but for the sake of this video to kind of try out different brushes I went in with a tinier one and I'm sorry the lightning in this video is really weird I don't know what is wrong with my camera but it goes from dark to light to dark and I don't really know. I feel like this hasn't been forever like this, but I don't really know what is going on and how I can fix it. But yeah, I'm just blending, blending, and I just keep blending. You guys know how I do it. I'm taking the brush G833. Um, this is more like a flat blending brush. A lot of brands have a brush like this. I feel like this brush is really nice to kind of pack the color on the eyelid and then blend it out later on. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pressing it in my outer V area and kind of blending it towards my crease area. And this is the darker shade in the palette. So I kind of wanted to use this one to darken up my outer V area. So now I'm going to use this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 and I'm going to use this to carve out the crease. So I'm taking this tiny concealer brush which doesn't have a brand name on it. I don't know what it is, from which brand it is, but I do want to say that this Jaclyn Hill collection doesn't have a brush which you can use to cut the crease. 
Well, there is one, but for me personally, I don't really like to use a brush like that. Um, so yeah, I wish they included a brush like that, but unfortunately it doesn't. So I'm just going to use this tiny brush to cut the crease. I'm not going all the way to the outer end. I'm kind of stopping like a little bit further than halfway the eyelid. Then when I'm done with my crease, I'm taking the 47 brush and I'm going to um, apply a light shade, which is this one in the palette, and pressing that at the inner corner of the eyelid. I think this is a really nice brush. It's like a very tiny brush to apply eyeshadow. I really like it. It reminds me of a brush of Suifa, which I believe is the 237 if I'm not mistaken, but I kind of like this one more. So now I'm taking the 41 brush, which is a flat definer brush. Um, you can kind of compare it with the MAC 242 brush, which is one of my favorite brushes. So I'm packing on this bronzy color. I want to start off like straight with telling you guys that I don't really like this brush. Because normally I use the MAC 242 and you can see like the right one is the MAC 242. The left one is the Jack Nail one and the MAC one is way more flatter. And I feel like this way it's way more easier to use for on the eyelid. Also, I feel like the MAC 242 one grabbed more color. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed because this was the brush I was most excited for. I was really curious if this brush would replace my love for the MAC 2421 by MAC, but no, it doesn't. It does do the job though. I have to say it just works fine, but compared to the MAC 242, I really prefer the MAC one. I wouldn't grab this one. I would like stay with the MAC one. So now I'm taking that flat uh, blending brush, which I used at the beginning, taking that dark shade again and pressing a little bit more of that in my outer V just to make sure that it kind of blends into that shimmery shade that I just applied on the eyelids. Now I'm going in with this glitter from NYX Cosmetics. I'm going to put all the names of the products in the description bar. I mix it together with a little bit of MAC Mixing Medium, which is a very sticky consistency, which I like to use for whenever I want to apply glitter. So I started off with not too much product and then I build it up with going back in with more and more glitter. I wanted this look to be very glam. And as you can see, this is quite like a glitter with a cool undertone, which I feel like matches really nicely with this eye look. I didn't want it to go in with like a golden because I have done plenty of those looks. Now I'm taking this eyeliner from Inglot. I know it looks a little bit dirty, but I did a few drops of the... Um, I don't even know what the name is, but they sell drops which you can use on top of your gel eyeliner, which makes it creamy again. So that's why it was looking a little bit sticky and dirty, <laughs> but it works really well. So now the first thing I'm going to do is use this face cream from Bobbi Brown, which is the Vitamin Enriched. Just apply a layer all over my face. I currently have a situation going on over here. I think because I ate like three days straight, like a lot of junk food. And every time I eat junk food, you can see it like on my skin immediately. Like it's really like what I eat, my face shows it. So every time you see me with a pimple, you know I have been cheating. <laughs> but I'm going to apply it all over my face, a little bit on my forehead as well. So now I'm going to use this hangover primer from Too Faced. And this is like the amount that I use, like two pumps. Then first I warm it up on my hand and then I apply it all over my face. So now I want to try this foundation brush which comes in the Jaclyn Hill collection which is in the number G803. Um, normally I always use this one which is the Will Techniques brush. I feel like the uh, Morphe one is a little bit more fluffy. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to like it, but I'm just going to try it out. And I do know that Jaclyn Hill mentioned in her video this, that this is already an existing brush in the Morphe collection. So this is not a new brush. Some of you might already own this brush. I don't have it, so I'm really curious to see if I like it just as much as Jaclyn does. So I'm going to use the NARS Cosmetics Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. 
and I'm just going to apply it on the back of my hand. I always use a lot. <laughs> and then I'm going to dip my brush in it and apply it directly on the face. And I know it looks really yellow compared to my own like natural color of my face. But um, I will make sure that it will match with my body. Applying a little bit more here in my problem area. So I feel like this brush is actually quite nice. But sometimes with foundation brushes, I feel like you have to try them a few more times to see if you really like it. But I can definitely tell that it makes my foundation look really full coverage, which I really like. So, so far I'm loving it. Not sure if I like it more than the Real Techniques, but like I said, I have to try it a few more times. And now I'm taking my Beauty Blender, which is a little bit damped, and I'm going to apply the foundation as well. I always do this so that doesn't mean that I don't like the foundation brush, but I feel like if you first apply your foundation with a foundation brush, you get like most product. And then when I blend it in later on with a beauty blend, it gives me more of a natural finish, if that makes sense. I feel like if I would only use a beauty blender, it soaks up too much product, which I feel like is a waste to my foundation. So that's why I use it in combination like with a brush and a beauty blender. Now I'm going to apply my concealer. I'll be using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And then blending it out again using my beauty blender. Then I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tip Concealer in the shade Rich and applying a few dots on my forehead and then blending it in with my beauty blender as well. Now to set my concealer I'm taking this palette from Kat Von D and I'm going to use this light shade right here and mixing it with that one. And the brush I'm using for this is the Jaclyn Hill & Morphe brush in the number 07, um, which, well, which looks like this. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my face after doing my lower lash line. So I'm going to zoom in now again, so you can all see it a little bit better. So now I'm taking this brush in the number 43, which is a flat diviner brush. It looks very similar to a brush that ha a lot of brands have. So I'm dipping this into this darkest brown color and I'm going to press it right underneath the lower lash line. I feel like this is a really nice flat diviner brush because the hairs are not too hard. It's You can also kind of blend back and forth, which will make your eyeshadow blend out immediately. Most of them, like flat diviner brush, are a little bit more harsher. I'm taking the 39 brush, which is like a pencil brush. Really enjoy using this and taking that um, light camel warmer color and blending it underneath the lower lash line to blend out that dark brown color. <laughs> and I really enjoy using this uh, brush. It's like a really nice pencil brush, not too stiff, not too loose. It just made it really easy to blend it out. I'm going back in with that light color and that same brush which I also used for applying that shade on the eyelid and applying a little bit more of that in the inner corner. Now I'm taking this pencil from Suifa in the shade Carnot and using this all over in my waterline. This will really brighten up my eyes and make them appear a little bit bigger. And then I applied my mascara and off camera. I will put the name in the description bar and now I applied some lashes which are called lily from modern lashes we'll put the name in the description bar as well and on here you can see how the eyes look with the lashes on so i have now finished my eyes and i'm really liking how it turned out i have done like eye looks like this very often but they always turn out very warm tone and kind of the same but now that i use this palette from natasha denona i feel like it turned out really cool toned and I know there has been like a lot of controversy around this palette. There were like a few Instagram pages saying that this palette in real life looks really warm and it doesn't look like the pictures and that I should have known I showed on her Instagram at all. But I think like once I saw it, it really pissed me off because I feel like there are so many pages right now on Instagram and YouTube 
um, that are just trying to cause drama when there in reality isn't really drama. I mean, this palette is really cool tone. You can see by my eyes that it almost looks gray. And it just annoys me that there are so many people trying to start drama. It just annoys me. Um, but um, I really like how it turned out because I've never done like a cool tone I look like this, so I hope you guys like it as well. I'm now going to finish off the rest of my face using the Jekyll Hill brushes. So I'm going to start with contouring my face and I saw Jekyll Hill using this brush which is the GH05. She uses it for like contouring her cheekbones, so I'm going to do the same. I'll be using the shade and light palette from Kat Von D and I'm going to use this shade right here, which I know is one of uh, Jekyll Hill's favorite uh, powder to contour. So I'm going to use it right here. I kind of understand why Jack and Hill likes this brush because it's really precise but at the same time it's very soft so easy to blend out. I will definitely be using this one more often. Now for my bronzer I'm taking this Revolution bronzer which is called the Ultra Bronze and I'm going to use this to kind of warm up my skin a little bit more. So now for my blush, I'm going to take this blush brush, which is in the number G804. So my current favorite brush is this one by Suifa, and they kind of have the same shape. But when I feel, I feel like the Morphe one feels a little bit more cheap. I don't know, it's like very... like this. I can't really describe it in English, but it feels a little bit more cheap, if I have to be honest. Now I'm going to take this blush book from Tarte Cosmetics, and I'm taking the shade Slumber Party. So I think it applies the blush really nicely, but if I have to choose, I would prefer the Suiva one. I feel like that one feels a little bit more softer on the skin, um, even though this brush feels like softer, but maybe that's not the correct word, just a little bit more loose, if that makes sense. So when I apply it on the cheeks, it feels kind of stiff. When I compare it to the Suiva one, when I press it on my cheek, it really slides smoothly. It's really hard to explain, but I hope you guys know what I mean. When I do it with this one, it's kind of, it kind of connects. It's, it's just weird, but it does the job. But um, if I had to choose, I think I will stick with the Suiva one. So in Jacqueline's video, she mentioned that she likes to go in with this brush first, which is the G806 uh, and apply a highlighter and then go in with this tinier one, which is already a existing brush. Um, I have a few of them. This is a really nice one. And this is the G809. So I'm first going in with a more softer highlighter and blend it just like a little bit overall. And then go in with this one and apply more of a intenser highlighter in the center. So I don't own the Hourglass highlighter that she always uses, but I'm going in with this one from Laura Mercier, which is called the Indiscretion. Indiscretion. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I'm taking that fluffy brush, which is the G806, dipping it in here and applying it. I think when you use a brush like this, because it's really soft, you get like a very soft and natural finish. This is something that I would do like for on a regular base when I don't want to look too dramatic. I think this is really beautiful. Also for on the forehead. So now I'm going in with a tinier one, which is the G809. And the highlighter I'll be using is this one from Dose of Colors in collaboration with I Love Sarai. And I'm going to apply it more in the center. I'm taking the MAC lip pencil in the shade Strip Down to line my lips. And then on top of that, I'm taking this Natasha Denona lip gloss in the shade Flesh, which is one of my favorite lip glosses because the shade is so beautiful. And 
here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and kind of first impression on the new Jaclyn Hill brushes. I know the brushes launched today. Um, by the time you're watching this, I hope they're not sold out yet. <laughs> I hope you guys can get your hands on it if you're interested in these brushes. So overall, I think the brushes are nice. There are a few of them that I, if I compare them to the brushes I use at the moment, I don't feel like they're better. But overall, I would definitely recommend the brushes. I think they're really nice. They're all very soft. Um, yeah, I think they're really good. And also, I know that a lot of people on the internet said that the brushes are too expensive. I personally think that's not true. I remember me buying my first brush kit like back in the days and I believe it was like 150 euros, um, which I think is around 170 dollars. That's like the same amount. Um, and I remember not getting that many brushes and also not... So personally, I think these brushes are really good if you're like a starting makeup artist, but also if you're like me and you need some new blending brushes, they all feel really soft. Um, I haven't used all of them, but I touched them with my finger and they all look, feel like really soft, which I think is a really good thing when it comes to blending brushes, especially because some brushes can feel like really like you're scratching your eyelids and these all feel really soft, which I really like. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, my uh, join my giveaway. I will put all the rules down in the description bar. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Cause we don't know better And I thought we'd be different Yeah, we were on to some good shit We keep dancing with the devil But he doesn't have a back door She'll be pulling away from the fire she go, but I don't even try Gone in the deep end tonight Tonight, tonight I just wanna love you